In the twilight of World War II, the American Sherman tanks, often derisively referred to as Tomacookers, faced off against the behemoth German panzers. Puffendorf, a name etched in the annals of history, became the battleground for this clash of steel and willpower. It was a confrontation born of desperation, and the odds seemed insurmountable. The sun hung low on the horizon, casting long shadows over the war-torn fields of Puffendorf. The air was thick with tension, and a palpable sense of doom loomed as American tank crews surveyed the imposing line of German panzers. These hulking machines of destruction, the likes of the King Tiger and Panther, stood as formidable barriers to the Allied advance. The Sherman crews were all too aware of their tank's shortcomings. With their thin armor and inadequate firepower, they were like mice daring to challenge lions. But there was no choice. They were the vanguard of the American offensive, and the fate of their comrades and the war hung in the balance. As the first shots rang out, the Shermans moved with an air of grim determination. The rattling treads and acrid scent of burning fuel filled the air as shells whizzed in both directions. The battle for Puffendorf had ignited, and it was a crucible of fire and iron. In the chaos of clashing metal, the Sherman crews displayed unparalleled courage. They danced through the battlefield, using their agility to their advantage. The odds may have been stacked against them, but their wits and resolve proved unwavering. Each blast was met with unwavering resolve, each setback with dogged determination. The fate of Puffendorf, a microcosm of the entire war, hung by a thread. The outcome was uncertain, and the stakes could not have been higher. The Shermans, undergunned and outmatched, pressed forward, an embodiment of valor against impossible odds. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the battle raged on. The Sherman tanks, derided and underestimated, faced off against Germany's heavy panzers in an epic struggle. Their determination and grit in the face of overwhelming adversity turned the tide of the battle. In Puffendorf, under that fading twilight, they proved that sometimes, against all odds, courage and tenacity can overcome the darkest of adversities. As the battle raged on, the landscape of Puffendorf became a surreal hellscape, with craters and burning wrecks dotting the once green fields. The sounds of combat echoed through the village, the deafening roar of tank cannons mingling with the cries of soldiers. It was a deadly ballet, with Shermans darting between buildings, using every bit of cover to their advantage. The Sherman crews knew that every shell fired, every maneuver executed, brought them one step closer to victory or defeat. They faced not only the German panzers, but also the suffocating weight of history bearing down on them. It was a relentless test of their mettle, a challenge that would define their legacy. Amidst the chaos, one Sherman tank, aptly named Iron Will, emerged as the embodiment of American determination. Its commander, Captain John Hayes, had rallied his crew with unwavering resolve. Despite facing insurmountable odds, they fought like men possessed, pushing their Sherman to its limits. The King Tiger, an embodiment of German engineering, confronted Iron Will. The colossal beast aimed its turret at the Sherman, and the ground seemed to shake as it fired. The Sherman quivered under the blow, but it held firm. Miraculously, the crew survived, and their determination soared. The Battle of Puffendorf raged for hours, and the Sherman tanks faced wave after wave of panzers. Some fell, sacrificed to the merciless might of the enemy, but others, like Iron Will, endured. In the end, the Shermans, through their relentless courage and teamwork, prevailed. The village of Puffendorf, once a symbol of despair, was liberated, and the legacy of the Sherman tanks was forever altered. They had faced off against Germany's heavy panzers, defying the naysayers who deemed them inadequate. Puffendorf became a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who refused to yield, even when the odds were stacked against them. As night fell over the blood-soaked fields, the Shermans and their valiant crews had written a new chapter in history. Puffendorf was a reminder that sometimes, in the darkest hours, heroes emerge from the most unexpected places, turning the tide of destiny against all odds. The Battle of Puffendorf resonated far beyond the village itself, for it symbolized the tenacity of the Allied forces, their refusal to bow in the face of adversity. News of the American Sherman's bravery spread like wildfire throughout the ranks, lifting the spirits of countless soldiers who were well aware of the Sherman's limitations. The story of Puffendorf gave them hope. In the days that followed, the Allied offensive gained renewed momentum. The enemy, stunned by the Sherman's gallant stand, retreated. The heavy panzers, their steel behemoths now reduced to lifeless hulks, served as grim sentinels marking the path of the American triumph. For the Sherman tank crews, Puffendorf remained etched in their memories as a crucible of courage and camaraderie. It was where they had faced their darkest hour and emerged victorious, proving that valor and determination could overcome the gravest of odds. Years later, when veterans of Puffendorf gathered to reminisce, they would recall the setting sun, the deafening clatter of steel, and the inextinguishable fire of their resolve.
In the shadow of those memories, they would raise their glasses to the fallen and to the indomitable spirit of those who dared to challenge the impossible. The Battle of Puffendorf became a testament to the enduring human spirit, a reminder that in the face of despair, ordinary men could become legends. It was a story whispered in hushed tones among soldiers and civilians alike, a symbol of hope during the darkest hours of the war. And in those whispers, the legacy of the Sherman tanks and their brave crews lived on, an eternal beacon of inspiration for generations to come. The legacy of Puffendorf extended well beyond World War II, its echoes resonating in the military doctrine and tank development that followed. The American experience in that village served as a powerful reminder that innovation and adaptability were critical elements in the ever-evolving theater of war. Post-war, the shortcomings of the Sherman tanks were addressed with the introduction of new, more advanced tank designs. The lessons learned at Puffendorf became a pivotal turning point in the development of armored warfare, as military leaders sought to create more formidable, better protected, and more powerful tanks. Veterans of Puffendorf, both Sherman crews and infantrymen who fought alongside them, carried the memory of that battle with them throughout their lives. The bond forged in the fires of combat remained unbreakable, a shared experience that transcended time and distance. They would often gather for reunions, each one a poignant reminder of the extraordinary resilience they had displayed. Puffendorf became a pilgrimage site for those who wished to pay their respects to the fallen, as well as a symbol of the enduring strength of the human spirit in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. Over the years, a memorial was erected on the very ground where the Sherman tanks once clashed with the heavy panzers, a solemn tribute to those who had sacrificed so much. The Battle of Puffendorf was a stark testament to the courage and determination of ordinary soldiers thrust into extraordinary circumstances. It was a chapter in history that taught the world that in the darkest of times, when the odds are stacked impossibly high, heroism can shine brightly, lighting the path to victory. Puffendorf was not just a battle, it was a story of resilience and triumph against all odds, a story that would forever inspire and captivate the hearts of those who heard it. As the years passed and the world moved forward, the legacy of Puffendorf remained a reminder of the indomitable human spirit and the extraordinary feats that could be achieved under the dire circumstances. The men who had fought there, both American and German, carried the scars and memories of that battle for the rest of their lives. For many, the battle was not simply a historical event but a personal journey of transformation. Some of the Sherman crews who had faced the heavy panzers in Puffendorf returned to civilian life with a newfound sense of purpose and courage. The bonds forged under fire endured, as they supported one another in the difficult transition back to civilian society. Puffendorf, in its own way, served as a lasting testament to the futility of war. It was a stark reminder of the price paid in blood and suffering, and a beacon of hope that such sacrifices should never be in vain. Visitors from around the world came to Puffendorf, not just to pay their respects but to learn from its history. Military leaders and historians studied the battle, using it as a case study for tactical innovation, adaptability, and the enduring willpower of those who faced impossible odds. The village itself, once a place of destruction and despair, underwent a renaissance. It was rebuilt, not just as a reminder of the past, but as a beacon of peace and reconciliation. Puffendorf became a symbol of hope, a place where former adversaries could come together in the spirit of cooperation and mutual understanding. In the end, the Battle of Puffendorf left an indelible mark on the collective memory of humanity. It was a story of ordinary men thrust into an extraordinary situation, where courage, camaraderie, and unyielding determination triumphed against the darkest of odds. It became a powerful reminder that, even in the face of overwhelming adversity, the human spirit can rise above and shine brightly as a beacon of hope and inspiration for generations to come.